It is God, the Holy Ghost, who gives you power to get wealth. Holy Ghost of God in the earth today. Holy Ghost of God in the earth today. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. And you walk with Him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstrott. I thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure that you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here, consider becoming a partner with us. So we're talking today about revelation, you being revealed as something, you being revealed as a wealthy person. Say, me being revealed, me being revealed. As, a as a wealthy person. And we're going to walk you through this. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 24, By faith Moses, when he was come to years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. Verse 26, Esteeming the reproach of Christ greater riches. Say greater riches. Greater riches. Greater riches than the treasures in Egypt. Now, would there have been a lot of treasures in Egypt at the time? Yes. Yeah. I mean, that was it. I mean, that, that was the top of the kingdom at that, at that point. And he was in line... To be Pharaoh's son mm -hmm. so, but he esteemed something to be greater riches than even that for he had respect unto the recompense of the reward means he re he respected or could see actually other translations specifically say it that way he could see it he had his eyes fixed on the reward say eyes fixed on eyes fixed so he was seeing and had his eyes fixed on a greater reward mm -hmm. a greater reward than all of the treasures that were in Egypt so he had his eyes fixed on something he had his eyes fixed on a reward say a reward, a reward. now we're gonna be talking about a reward and if you get your eyes fixed on that reward you can have it if you can't see it then you can't have it see here even Moses himself had to have his eyes looking at something mm -hmm. so we're gonna fix our eyes on a reward the reward really he's the promise mm -hmm. and I'm gonna walk you through this we're gonna see that the Holy Ghost is the promise mm -hmm. we're gonna see the Holy Ghost himself say himself himself, himself as the reward See now people that don't know the Holy Ghost and that he is God in the earth today are gonna to have a very hard time seeing this that when you receive him you have the reward and the promise mm -hmm. but that's who he is the one Jesus sent into the earth to be with you mm -hmm. and he brings his reward with him yeah. because he is the reward <laughs> can he heal people yeah. yes can he prosper people yeah yes does he do these things in yes. fact it said it's his will above all things that you prosper and be in health well what's he gonna do that so we need to have our eyes fixed on the reward knowing him as God worshiping him as God and he makes you a wealthy person he he the person of the Holy Ghost who is God in the earth today when we have our eyes fixed on him the reward will make you a wealthy person so do me a favor you who say you know that the Holy Ghost is God or you know him as God I say prove it worship him open your mouth and worship him because when you do it starts to set a whole bunch of things in motion in your life not the least of which is he will begin to make you a wealthy person you will be revealed as that yes I know that the Holy Spirit is God yes I believe he is in the earth and I say well then prove it worship him and I don't mean just worship him once I mean do yourself a favor find a place every day find a chair somewhere that you can sit and be by yourself for five minutes say five minutes, five minutes. And you can do it more than you want more than that if you want and I would encourage you to let's sit there for five minutes and worship him say Holy Ghost you are God in the earth today I worship you I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost and you do that for five minutes I'm telling you things will begin to change on the inside of you now what you're doing is manifesting yourself as his temple 
these words i worship you holy ghost are words of prosperity you think the temple of god is impoverished you think the temple of god is poor no these are words of prosperity and when you say i worship you holy ghost you are uttering words of prosperity you are his temple manifest when you do this i'm telling you he will visit you and he will make you rich he is the reward he is the promise he will come and visit you and he will make you rich he told me to tell you get them to see me you have to see that he is God you have to see the kind of God that he is we all know and I can go through these scriptures that you are the temple of the Living God but a lot of people don't know him as the Living God and when you begin to worship him you'll begin to see who he is I'm telling you, you know how many people don't know this and they need to know it they might give lip service or mental assent to it but the only way you're really gonna know that the Holy Ghost is God is by worshiping him as God and he'll be manifest to you second Corinthians chapter 3 verse 17 now the Lord is that spirit and where the Spirit of the Lord is or where the Spirit is Lord there's Liberty verse 18 but we all with open face beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord the glory of what Lord the Spirit Lord that we're just talking about we're beholding him we're seeing him for who he is we are changed into the same image from glory to glory mm -hmm. you know and that word is translated wealth in other places of the scripture so we're translated from one level of prosperity to the next level of prosperity how by beholding him by seeing him get them to see me so we're changed into his image is it possible for you to be changed into his image if you don't see who he is is he wealthy so you get our eyes fixed on the reward remember Moses had respect to the recompense of the reward his eyes were fixed on it our eyes should be fixed on the Holy Ghost who is our reward Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6 but without faith it's impossible to please him for he that comes to God must believe that he is well who are we talking about the Holy Ghost we're coming to the Holy Ghost worshiping him we believe who he is can we believe who he is if we don't see him for who he is that he is a what a rewarder of them that diligently seek him so he rewards them the Holy Ghost rewards what is he gonna reward you with Genesis chapter 15 verse 1 and after these things the word of the Lord came unto Abram in a vision saying fear not Abram I am thy shield and thy exceeding great reward what's the reward he is I am thy shield and thy exceeding great reward so if God was gonna reward someone who does he reward what does he reward them with he rewards them with himself what was the effect of this reward on Abraham a lot of people call it the blessing what God blessed Abraham with himself I am thy shield and thy exceeding great reward did prosperity come from that in light of this scripture and some others I'm gonna take you to I hope I'm getting this across just knowing him makes you rich now you might not have realized it yet it might not be revealed to you in your life but you are rich presently if you know him this is good news Genesis chapter 39 verse 2 and the Lord was with Joseph I remember what I just said that if the Lord's with you you are rich you are prosperous Amen. right yes. and the Lord was with Joseph and he was a prosperous man Amen. 
was joseph a prosperous man yes, yes according to the bible he was a prosperous man why was he a prosperous man because the lord was with him That's right. so if the, the lord with you makes you prosperous mm -hmm. go on here and he was in the house of his master the egyptian now hold on a second here it says joseph was a prosperous man but he was a slave and owned by another man are you here how much did joseph own at the time nothing he was owned by someone else mm -hmm. that's less than prosperity that's debt indentured servitude to somebody else mm -hmm. are you getting this yes. but joseph in the eyes of god and what the scripture said is that he was a prosperous man because god was with him did joseph have respect to the recompense of the reward did god himself have respect to the recompense of the reward because he was calling him prosperous when he was still a slave so he had respect to the recompense of the reward and we know that joseph throughout the rest of this he had that vision where he saw himself as the leader of everything mm -hmm. if God is with you you are already blessed yeah. you just don't have the revealing of it yet and that's what this message is about as long as you have respect to the recompense of the Lord say I am already rich I'm already rich would Joseph had to have been a prosperous man irregardless of what it looked like at the time yes, yes. because when it said he was a prosperous man he was still in the house he was still a slave are you getting this so you are already prosperous no matter what your situation is if the Lord is with you who was wealthier Joseph or Potiphar depends where your respect for the reward is so who was wealthier even then who was wealthier Joseph was wealthier why because the Lord was with him so here we see that the Lord with you equals prosperous so if the Lord is with you you are prospering That's right. regardless of the situation say that if the Lord's with me Lord's with I'm, prospering. I'm prospering regardless of the situation. the situation why would that be because God can move all of that stuff around real quickly as long as you don't lose respect for the recompense of the reward or get your eyes off of being fixed on the reward who's the reward the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. so the Lord with you equals prosperity therefore the Lord must be prosperous mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right yes. if the Lord is with me makes me prosperous then the Lord is prosperous yes. right. who's prosperous the Holy Ghost Proverbs chapter 10 verse 22 the blessing of the Lord it makes rich and he adds no sorrow with it what makes rich the blessing, the blessing of the Lord makes rich makes you rich the blessing is the Holy Ghost himself he is the blessing he is the reward I am your exceeding great reward so the blessing or be, the Holy Ghost being with you makes you rich mm -hmm. say the Holy Ghost with me, Holy Ghost with me. makes me, makes me. Rich. rich now is it out of line with Scripture to say what you just said no. that's in line with Scripture to say what you just said mm -hmm. so being blessed with the Lord himself mm -hmm. I'm gonna say it that way being blessed with the Lord himself makes you rich keep your eyes on him he is wealthy you are his temple he makes you say makes me. makes me so Joseph was blessed because the Lord was with him and the Lord being with you makes you blessed makes you rich makes you is causal meaning it causes you to be mm -hmm. him with you causes you to be rich proverbs chapter 8 21 that i may cause those that love me to inherit substance and i will fill their treasures he will cause say he will cause, he will cause. what's the cause you say he 
him being with you causes you to inherit substance who does this it will be the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. the blessing of the Lord or him blessing you makes you rich if he's with you you're blessed blessed by who blessed by him and he's causing you to be rich it's causal the blessing of the Lord makes me rich would make the person that he's with rich mm -hmm. does this make sense mm -hmm. so it does something to that person him coming upon you and being in you does something to that person it makes them something it makes them something they weren't before it makes him rich what made Joseph rich his good looks and his special coat no the Lord being with him made him rich are you getting this so if it makes me rich or makes you rich it's doing something to you wealth is a result of the person you become now you become something different when the Lord is with you you become something different when the Holy Ghost moves into you what do you become a temple of God what should you be changed from to from one glory to the next glory beholding him right it's all about change if you are to be made rich you're going to have to be changed into a rich person wealth is a result of the person you become and you're becoming like him you'll think like him you'll talk like him and then you'll act like him you're becoming a different person more and more like him if I'm changed from glory to glory by the Spirit of the Lord by beholding him I'm changed to be more and more like him he's blessing you with himself he's making you rich like him but if they don't view him as being wealthy then they can't be changed into a wealthy person mm -hmm. so I become like him more and more I'm changed from one glory to the next glory so we are changed we are transformed the reward and the promise of him with us is change and if wealth is a manifestation of the person that you become you have to be changed into that person That's right. your thinking changes your believing changes your acting changes you're the one changed you're the one being transformed mm -hmm. into his image and I've got news for you he's pretty wealthy mm -hmm. is this true yes what are we being changed into his image. his image and he's the one with us we're his temple so the blessing of him with me makes me rich it takes you from wherever you are to rich mm -hmm. you're being changed to being rich mm -hmm. you haven't been transformed enough to know it or you're being blocked from seeing the one who does the transformation mm -hmm. through your religious doctrine mm -hmm. many people when they hear this kind of message just immediately shut it off they can't go there mm -hmm. but you can go there we're gonna go there somebody has to go there Amen. so we're talking about revelation of you as a wealthy person mm -hmm. are we getting this now yes. Deuteronomy chapter 8 let's look at verse 17 and thou say in thine heart my power and the might of my hand has gotten me this wealth is that what you say no you don't say that that's what the world says verse 18 but thou shalt remember or keep before your eyes the Lord thy God who is that the Holy Ghost. that will be the Holy Ghost we remember him we keep him before our eyes we have our eyes fixed on him thou shalt remember the Lord thy God for it is he that gives thee power who gives you power the Holy Ghost the Lord my God that I keep my eyes fixed on he gives me power and power for what power to get wealth is this in your Bible yes. it is God the Holy Ghost who gives you power to get wealth the power of God 
does something to you now I hope I hope I brought you up this to this place we've showed you that the blessing of God coming on you does something to you the blessing of the Lord makes you something here it says it is he that gives thee power to get wealth so he's doing something to you with his power that gets wealth it transforms you God's power transforms you and what's it gonna transform you into a wealthy person the power is a, is a transforming power that goes from glory to glory that power is a transforming power that takes you from good to acceptable to perfect Acts chapter 1 verse 8 but you shall receive power you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you and you shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and Judea and Samaria and unto the uttermost parts of the earth he said power would come on you after after the Holy Ghost came on you let's look over and see what happened to them after the Holy Ghost came on them Acts chapter 2 and verse 4 and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance mm -hmm. what's happening here the Holy Ghost is coming on them the reward is coming on them the promise is coming on them and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost so he's come on them filled them and began to speak verse 8 of chapter 1 says after the Holy Ghost comes on you you shall receive power what happened after the Holy Ghost came on them they began to speak power came after the speaking so speaking was the first initial sign of the Holy Ghost coming on them and the manifestation of the power of God I just went I led you up here to show you all of these things when the Holy Ghost comes on you right mm -hmm. and is with you well speaking in tongues is the evidence that you have received him and that he's with you yes. I didn't pick that method he could have picked any any sign he wanted to he picked that sign scripturally so when you're speaking in tongues after the Holy Ghost comes on you speaking in tongues gives you access to the power of God now we're talking about a specific power right now God gives you power to get wealth or to be changed into you could say it that way a wealthy person same God no this 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 particular scripture here is a religious God who comes on and gives religious people the ability to say foolish things no he's the same God that's giving power to get wealth mm -hmm. you shall receive power after he comes on you mm -hmm. it's the method he chose when I speak in tongues I'm accessing the power of God mm -hmm. when I'm speaking in tongues I'm just not I'm just not babbling I'm accessing the power of God the power of who the power of the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. what's he do what good is it what good is it to access the power of the Holy Ghost I'm accessing his power to make me a wealthy person mm -hmm. when I speak in tongues I'm accessing the power of God that makes me a wealthy person when I speak in tongues I'm accessing the power of God that makes me a wealthy person when I speak in tongues I am accessing the power of God the Holy Ghost that makes me a wealthy person what is it doing it's transforming me from something I wasn't into something I will be and I have respect to the recompense of the reward are you seeing this so I took all that time to, to lead you up this path he's now with me he's with me and I'm doing what he wanted me to do which was speak in tongues as he gives me utterance embedded in speaking in tongues is the power to get wealth are we having fun yet embedded in speaking in tongues is the power of God to get wealth and to be changed from one glory to the next level of glory it's a tool that he has given us to use while we're on this earth mm -hmm. when we're in heaven we're not gonna need it anymore 
but while we're here we have the ability to speak as he gives us utterance it's a tool mm -hmm. what if you had a tool that had the innate ability within itself to make you a wealthy person the problem is people aren't using it the way they should they aren't speaking in tongues enough to get the results that the that the speaking in tongues is supposed to bring to them speaking in tongues in the right way and enough can and will change you what's it going to change you into his image whose words are you speaking you think that while you're speaking in other tongues he's going to be saying things like oh poverty 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 all over the place oh look at all this poverty you think that's going to be happening no it's going to be his will a lot of people don't know that about him he's a wealthy god he lives in wealth people go yes when we get to heaven but on here on this earth it's terrible he's here he makes you a wealthy person and embedded in his giving those words to you is the power to bring that to pass it's causal when you speak in tongues and especially and when you worship the Holy Ghost if you combine those things together you pray in tongues and you worship the Holy Ghost he can and will change who you are mm -hmm. I testify to the fact when you worship the Holy Ghost and you speak in tongues a lot he changes who you are who's he changing you to his image from one glory to the next glory yes. mm -hmm. you are being taught and changed and transformed into a person that profits when when you speak in other tongues or when you manifest yourself as his temple by saying I worship you Holy Ghost mm -hmm. you are being taught to profit when you're speaking first Corinthians chapter 2 verse 12 now we have received not the spirit of the world but the spirit which is of God or the spirit which is God that we might know the things now remember he's teaching you to profit leading you by the way that you should go that's the same thing as knowing the things that he's freely giving you now we have received the spirit that's of God how do we know we receive the spirit that is of God we began to speak in other tongues we have received the spirit which is of God that we might know the things mm -hmm. I received the spirit that is of God I begin to speak in other tongues that I might know the things what if I don't speak I'm not gonna know the things mm -hmm. so embedded in speaking in other tongues is knowing the things mm -hmm. When someone knows the thing it's revealed to them and they are revealed as having that thing are you getting this mm -hmm. which things also we speak mm -hmm. so he's revealing to you the things and you are also speaking the things if you don't speak the thing you can't know the thing mm -hmm. how do you know that speaking in tongues the rest of the verse which things also we speak not in words which man's wisdom teaches your known language but in words that the Holy Ghost teaches which would be in other tongues mm -hmm. when I'm speaking in other tongues he's able to reveal to me the things that he's freely giving to me mm -hmm. do you already know and have all of the things that he wants to give to you then you are not done speaking because embedded in speaking is the ability and power to make you a wealthy person mm -hmm. in his image we are taught we are mentored we are changed by speaking the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and we walk with him by saying words mm -hmm. a large part of those words should be speaking in other tongues mm -hmm. but you have to do it to reap the benefits so people that are saying there's no benefit to speaking in other tongues they can't know the benefits if he says that we have received the spirit which is of God that we might know the things this person that does not speak in tongues and say there's no benefit to it they can't know the things mm -hmm. this making sense but the person who does speak is going to know the thing mm -hmm. and the thing is you revealed as a wealthy person 
say when I speak in tongues I am revealed as a wealthy person there is no other thing for you to be revealed as if you're revealed as one glory to the next glory you're gonna be revealed as wealthier than you were before because that's who the Holy Ghost is mm -hmm. and you should be getting wealthier as we sit here mm -hmm. say I'm getting wealthier, I'm getting wealthier. As, I here. as I sit here is being revealed to you that's who he is mm -hmm. and he changes you mm -hmm. praying in tongues helps you to realize the benefits you know what I mean when I say realize to actually obtain it and realize it and walk in it mm -hmm. I can know the will of God I can know the plan of God and I can walk in the power of God do you see those things are all available to you and how do they start by speaking when I speak in other tongues I can know the will of God when I speak in other tongues I can know the plan of God when I speak in other tongues I can know the power of God to bring it to pass those things come out of the Spirit and say here I am many don't like the fact that they have to walk with God by saying words they want it some other way there is no other way I mean you can you can choose another way that doesn't work go for it people have been doing it for years but if you want the way that actually works that actually does things in your life this is the way mm -hmm. Colossians chapter 4 verse 4 that I may make it manifest as I ought to speak that I may make it manifest as I ought to speak how ought you to speak in a way that makes it manifest makes what manifest the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. can manifest when you begin to speak in other tongues mm -hmm. as I ought to speak well how, how ought you to speak you ought to speak in other tongues mm -hmm. it's God's method when you speak in other tongues you're talking rich when you speak in other tongues he begins to guide your thinking you'll begin to think rich thoughts when I speak in other tongues I'm speaking rich things can you see this mm -hmm. is the Holy Ghost gonna say anything other than rich things no so when I'm speaking in other tongues I begin to speak rich things when I begin to speak in other tongues I begin to think rich thoughts mm -hmm. and when I speak in other tongues he gives me the power to be able to act and do rich things mm -hmm. you become revealed as a wealthy person Amen. you're being transformed by the Holy Ghost into a wealthy person say this after me I worship you, I worship Holy, you. Ghost. Holy, Holy Ghost you are God, you are God. In, the today. in the earth today and I thank you, I thank you. For, making for making me a wealthy person, a wealthy person. in Jesus name, in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Amen says I thank you Holy Ghost you, Holy that you have made me a wealthy person I decree over these finances that I am blessed and wealth comes to me and manifests in all my accounts I have more than enough abundance only and never any lack in Jesus name Amen Ghost your God in the earth.